Hello, Ben. Uh, today we're going to be trying to make a slide base here, because I've had a couple of requests for it. Um, this also is a jumping base. Actually, I really don't know what it's called, but slide and jumping sounds cool, and it seems to kind of describe it, so we'll stick with that. Uh, so it's a base which kind of alternates between octaves. So we're going to start with uh, the Digi preset, and this can be found under uh, synth string, I think. And I'm just going to make sure I'm on the right channel here. Yep. Okay, so pull out the piano roll. Uh, I'll make this full screen so you guys can see it. And I'm going to do something pretty simple. So, um, I'm just going to make this go to uh, step link. Okay, and I'm just going to make this climb up a little bit. That's what it's going to sound like in the end. Uh, what we're going to be using is the portamento and the uh, monotone uh, effects, which you can use just right out on FL on any default uh, preset, default synth. Okay, there's the first bit, and I'm just going to make that little bit of variation here so it doesn't sound too boring. Um. Okay, so now that we have something which closely resembles a baseline, uh, I'm going to transpose this down a little bit. Uh, so I'm just using control down. So it drops down an octave, so now it's a little lower. And then I'm going to copy and paste it, and then put that one up. Control up, and put it over there. So now it's pretty simple, just altering octaves. Nothing too interesting yet. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is enable the actual portamento switch. So just click the synth, go to uh, channel settings. And we're going to go to the MISC, and right around here on your polyphony, you want to enable mono, and you want to put the slide up to 1.6, I found was the best. So now, if I play two notes at once, it will actually slide between the two notes. So that's what mono does, it makes it some, um, only one note can play at the same time. And if you have more than one note, then it will slide between them using the portamento time. So that's as easy as setting uh, the slide on. So now, uh, when we play this, there's still no slide. That's because it still considers it more than one note. So I'm going to set this to, uh, oops, half a step. And I'm just going to drag it just a tiny bit. So now all of these are overlaid so that uh, FL actually considers them all one long held note. So. Excellent. Missed a bit here. Oops. Um, this back down. Right there. And just so it actually fits properly in the uh, actual mixer, I'm gonna just make sure that, that doesn't go over the bar line. Okay. So now it alternates between them. But Digi is really meant to be played in single notes, so you've got to change the synth a little bit. And I'm pretty familiar with it, so it's not too difficult. Uh, so start first operator, and you notice how you have this little envelope here which is showing. You just want to drag the end up. I'm going to put it there. And this will stop the note from actually dying out. So we're going to drag this one up too. It doesn't really matter how much you drag them up, just so long as they're up a little bit and they won't go too low on you. And it doesn't it makes no difference in the synth at all. It just 
makes it so it doesn't die as much. You can do that for all six of them. Uh, this is the really important one, because you hear that without it, and here's after we've dragged it up. And the synth is also a little bit uh, cut-offy, so the mod Y here is the actual cut-off, so you can cut that down a little bit. And now it sounds a little more normal, and there's no decrease in the sound volume at all. So now we can play it. Okay, so that's all there is to it. If you want to just uh, sit quiet for a second or so, I can put this into the piano roll, and uh, we can. I have some drums here which we can use, and I'm going to make something that sounds pretty cool. So, got eight bars. Here's my bass, and I'm just going to automate the Y here. Great auto clip, and just like that. Okay, and the drums, see any, this is the uh, mastering preset, and then there's nothing on the digi at all, and then I just put a compressor on the drums, so nothing too special. Uh, I'll go back here, okay, let's play it out. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, pretty cool. It sounds really awesome if you're doing a song. Uh, it's just something you might want to try, use it for a build, whatever. doesn't matter. You can use this stuff in anywhere. So, thanks for watching.